Well, we had certain plans and certain ideas, but I think everyone knew that we kind of have to work around it and see what happens. Like, there's a lot of stuff that kept moving around. Is like, can we get over here? Can we have access to that? How much space can we get? Like, timing, everything. Give me a focus real quick. And we might have gotten the only dry day out of October in Finland. With a little bit of work, obviously, we had to dry some ground off and everything, but God was definitely on our side on this one. Wait. Yep. <laughs> so sick. I'm digging there. Are you stoked? I'm hyped on it. Hell yeah. Yeah, thank you. We're good. We're cut it. Thank you. Ottoman, you rule. I spotted a few skaters through the web contest from Tokyo, Denmark, Oulu, Russia. That crew came over here with reinforcements from California with Curran, Louie, and Matt. So it's super cool to get a multicultural thing all over the world together over here at the Helsinki Airport. But it's pretty neat. I mean, going through security, it's like, all right, you got to the airport, you get a strip down, do the whole thing, and then you're going skating. So it's pretty rad. Like, all right, I'm going to the secure spot to skate. It's kind of every skateboarder's fantasy. When you fly all the time, you see all these different things you'd like to skateboard, but you never can. A match made in hell feels like heaven right now. I don't really have any expectations for myself. I just want to be along here for the ride and hopefully get something at every spot. My favorite skater is Artsari. I'm happy to meet you. 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 Skating at an airport, not too many skaters can say they've done that, so it's cool. Everything that's happened here is kind of almost like unrealistic. Being the only Finn, I feel honored. I never thought that I would be the one. I think the whole world is happy what we are skating in the airport. Yeah. Everyone was super amped, which I was kind of worried about. I was thinking like, well, what are the, what's everyone going to think? But every spot we got to, everything just went hell-bent for leather. Nice. There's a ton of stuff there. I don't even know. It's hard to process what's gone down because it's like five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, like pack up next. Something's happening over there. Try to capture that and move on. It's like, I don't know. I think it's going to take a couple of days to set in and actually look at everything and go. I'm looking forward to the flat bar. That one will be fun. And you'll be skating with a bunch of people around, so you'll get the full experience, I feel like, skating at the airport. I like this wooden floor super perfectly. Wow. I need it like this at my home. <laughs> I feel super good about each setup, basically. Everything that we set up for, we got the stuff that we wanted, and more. Yeah, like a belt, don't need a box. He slides good. I was kind of a little bit worried while Gosha is tippy toeing on top of the blast fence. Oh my god. It's getting heavy. <laughs> wow. All right. Where is this going to go? I've seen his part and stuff. I'm like, he's got it. The next couple of goes, it's like back in. Perfect. It's like, all right, good. Move on.
pretty much everything that went down on the blast fence was pretty epic. And that was sick. 809 spot. The one over the railing, there's some really cool images there of current flying around in the air, basically ollied over airplane. That's, that's pretty neat. So all in all, no one died, didn't lose any limbs, you know, there's a few hits here and there, but everyone's alive, stoked, and it was great. I don't think we broke anything here either, which is fantastic, because that could have been really bad. I mean, it would be nice to get an invite back, but we'll see. <laughs>